Time warp. Yeah. Back to a time really not so long ago. At least I like to think so. I was going to say. Yeah, a, a new art show called Wax Nostalgic 1994 looks at a year in pop culture that really kind of defined a decade. Yeah, the show features dozens of local and national artists sharing love for the year that was. And joining us here to explain where they got the idea, we've got Chris Breeden and Phil Villa. That's how I do it with the name. Pretty good. All right. Pretty good. Sweet. 94. So we've all been playing the game of where were we, what were we doing in 1994, but let's start with why you picked 1994. What is about 94? I picked the year 94. Uh, basically, it comes down to there was a, about a bajillion important things that happened that year. Uh, my my favorite album of all time was released that year. That's uh, Nas, Illmatic. Oh. And, uh, classic. The, a classic, you're correct. And then... Uh, just for ref reference, that's the year OJ was uh, in the White Bronco. Oh, and, okay. Uh, Tanya Harding and uh, Nancy Kerrigan. Uh, Pulp Fiction came out. Forrest Gump came out. Just a great year. A lot of pop culture yeah, heavyweights I, I, going yeah. on right there. Right there. And, and that's part of what you're going to display as well. You brought in an example of, of the kind of thing that people would see there. And it's the Bootsy right. Collins uh, uh, thing. Is that something you did or is it just something? something that uh, my partner at our studio, Jason Snell, drew and we print it. We print at our studio. So that's cool. The piece in the show is a lot bigger and it's partly screen printed, but it's sculptural also. That's yeah. pretty selective. Yeah. I like that. I like that. And the other thing, I, when I was reading a little bit about this as well, you're wearing the Airheads t-shirt. Talk yeah. about the, the, the Airheads connection. There's, that's working on a lot of levels, as I understand it. Uh, so we chose a movie from 1994, Airheads, Airheads. with Brendan Fraser yeah. and uh, you know, the whole crew. And, oh, uh, yeah. So we, we knew that uh, Airheads candy is based in Erlanger, so we yep. just did a little mashup of the two, and so it's a giant piece of candy with the characters from the movie on there. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. We've, we've kind of done this thing where 80s nostalgia was such a thing for such a, such a really right. long time. I mean, it still is to a degree, but our, I feel like we're now, we're sort of moving on to the next decade yeah. as we sort of, sort, of, sort of look back. When you have talked to people about this particular event, this thing, what's the reaction been to? We're finally getting on to the 90s stuff now. I could, well, I couldn't have dreamed the reaction that it's gotten. Um, I just like kind of thought of it in my head. I was very nostalgic for, for the period and then uh, the way people responded is crazy. There's tons of people going to be there. Yeah. Way more than I could have ever dreamt of. Yeah, is, is it going to be a, a, across the entire spectrum of, uh, of artists and, and the work? There is. There's, there's uh, 50 uh, different artists and they're from all over the country and they're every kind of medium. They're, there's uh, performance art. There's a guy actually, uh, it's Todd Lipscomb. He is going to be uh, having uh, an ultra runner uh, run on a treadmill, dressed as Forrest Gump. Oh, uh, yeah, no, no, you're kidding, you're kidding. Yeah. Kid. Stop yeah. it. Yeah. That's pretty, that's yeah. pretty cool stuff. Well, you tell you what, guys, we're, we're running a little bit short on time. Give us all the details one more time when people can come check things out. Okay, that, the, uh, the show is Friday on, uh, Friday at, from 7 to 11 at the, the BLDG. That's uh, on 30 West Pike in Covington, Kentucky. Excellent. We'll get more information up at local12.com. Yeah, we love Cove. <laughs> yeah, all right. Love the Cove. Yeah,